came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker to try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, well, here she is, folks. She's got a resume that is as good as it gets, north of 20 consecutive wins for the UFC. Strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li. And what else can you say about her first title defense against Ioana Jacek, other than the fact that it was maybe the greatest fight in UFC history. It will eventually be in the UFC Hall of Fame. And Zhang Wei Li was the rightful winner that night. Certainly had her power on full display, but a lot of skill and technical acumen as well. It is going to take a huge effort from anyone else at 115 pounds to dethrone the UFC's first Chinese champion. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Three years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. You ready? You ready? All right, so round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against the striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect the level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing on point. Her accuracy is on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Big kick land. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure the takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Chong's trying for a submission here. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow controlling underhook and getting back to your feet. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Grab the wrist. Grab the wrist. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Man, 
and she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. So 40 total strikes have landed for Whaley. Oh, huge connection by her there, DC. The similar blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Sean going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Oh, nice jab. Swing and a miss by Ahmed. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion, and Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English now. She understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Beautiful kick. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. And they separate. Oh, man, I'm no strike counter, but that head kick absolutely landed. That kick got from the floor to her opponent's head before her opponent could react. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours? Or? It's way better than mine. She's so fast, and she throws it with ill, ill intent. All right, so big round for her there. Not much wasted motion when it comes to the ground strikes. DC, take us through the highlights. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, when you watch someone that is so well-versed at ground and pound fighting, it is a joy to watch, especially for a guy like me. She did a great job of truly knowing exactly where she needed to go. She does not go crazy with strikes. She finds the correct time to throw them, and she makes every single one of them count. All right, so here we go with our next round. We'll see if she can right. piggyback upon all that right. good ground and pound work in the previous round. Well, when you watch a round like that, it's got to be 10-8. I mean, it has to be 10-8, or the judges have to be considering this was just a beatdown. This was one fighter controlling posture. This was one fighter putting immense damage on their opponent, and she does this constantly. This isn't something new. This is her way to fight, and when she's successful, the fights all look similar, and that round shows that she's having a lot of success. Akhmedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Shongs has got full mount now. half guard position for her here and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights she has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable she keeps the right side underhook and she just goes to work with that left arm she's posting and elbowing she's building her posture and punching there are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position Nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground pound. Money in the bank. Zhang's <laughs> right back to the full mount. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half 
land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice jab. She's got a hell of a jab, and I guess that reach advantage doesn't hurt. That's a big strike right there. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Zhang Wei Li. All right, you're doing great, girl. You're doing great. Boom. Big kick Stay land. Relaxed. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. It's not over, it's not over, keep moving. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round. She slapped her head back there, this could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut. That hurt her very, very bad. And off gets caught with that punch. Just misses there with the left. Lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Oh, beautiful job to land the knee of the body by her there, Chan. She manages distance great. And when she feels jammed up, she throws that knee to the body and it makes her opponent take a step back. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Akhmedov's got the tie clinch now. Beautiful strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Battling for hooks. Oh, digs right into the body of her DC. She's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's gonna be able to recover from this. What a round. So there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. You ready? You ready? Let's Third round fight. underway. Great punch. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round, as efficient as... Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. She is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time.